Hezbollah, one of Israel's sworn enemies and a staunch ally of Iran, continues its tough rhetoric against Tel Aviv. On February 17th, the group released a two-minute video entitled, O Zionists, you have military and security targets within your cities. The footage contained a threat to strike 10 Israel Defense Forces or IDF targets throughout Israeli cities. Hezbollah Secretary General Hassan Nasrallah was shown warning Aviv Kochavi, Chief of General Staff of the IDF, with total war. The Hezbollah video, warning of war if the IDF chose to initiate it, came in response to large-scale drills that the IDF held in recent weeks. During the exercises, IDF pilots trained to hit up to 3,000 targets per day in case of an all-out confrontation. This tougher rhetoric from Hezbollah is not something uncommon. What makes it significant is that the movement can afford to make it even tougher due to the Biden administration formally being less supportive of Israel. On February 18th, U.S. President Joe Biden told Iran that it was ready to take part in EU-sponsored talks to restore the Iran nuclear deal. This seems as a large concession and causes a sense of urgency in Israel. For the first time since he entered office, Biden accepted a phone call from Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. In the conversation, Biden affirmed the U.S. commitment to Israel's security and mutual defense cooperation. He said that the flow of weapons, equipment, and funding would continue. It all appeared very hollow and according to script. Similar to what U.S. President Barack Obama did, Biden promised to increase Israeli military aid, but that also means it will not get any more tangible support. This is all well and good, but it simply means you will not feel as special as you were when Donald Trump was around. Separately, another axis of resistance enemy, Saudi Arabia, is suffering at the hands of Yemen's Ansar Allah, the Houthis. On February 17th, the Houthis captured the significant Marib Dam as they pushed towards Marib City and consolidate power in the surrounding areas. The city is the last major stronghold of the Saudi-led coalition in central Yemen. If it falls, which seems quite plausible, the Houthis will have even more opportunities to push into southern Saudi Arabia. In their past raids, they have captured hundreds of Saudi-led coalition soldiers and various equipment. February 2021 seems to be the month of the axis of resistance, with Iran's campaign of non-compliance with the nuclear deal yielding fruit. Hezbollah, the Houthis, and the pro-Iranian groups in Iraq and Syria further seem to be achieving limited success.